Hi everyone, James Price here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Man, thank you guys for all the love and support you've shown me on my previous videos. Thank you for the likes and shares and the encouraging comments. And thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. I truly appreciate each and every last one of you guys. And, and, and speaking of subscribing to my channel, if you're watching this on Facebook, they probably won't let you like it or share it or um, subscribe to my channel unless you like log on to your own YouTube on your phone or wherever, um, whatever engine you're watching this on. So what I'll do is put a link underneath in the description, uh, uh, description of this video. I will put a link that will lead you directly to YouTube, to my channel. So that way, if you feel laid, you can like and share and subscribe. Just show me that support. All right. I appreciate that. Uh, in this video, guys, I want to talk about, uh, well, I really want to piggyback on my last video. The last video I did was called, How Do I Move On After Losing a Loved One? And what I realized is that um, people saw that title and they assumed that I was asking that question. So people sent me, uh, they sent me, um, messages and, and scriptures and, and checking on me making sure I was okay because they just saw the title and um, you guys are busted because that shows me you did not look at the video but I do appreciate uh, you guys taking time out of your busy schedule to check on your boy that that touched my heart anyway and it was a blessing but you did not look at the video because you guys should know by now in this on this channel and in my videos what i do is encourage people who have been through what i've been through and uh and i always title my videos the way i feel someone that's looking for something similar to my video would type in in the search engine on youtube they might say or, or go to google or whatever and might say how do i move on uh, after losing a loved one. So that's the way I title my videos, just the FYI for everyone out there. Um, so in that video, I was encouraging people and telling them what I do uh, and scriptures that help me on how I uh, get through, uh, how I'm getting through this tough and difficult year. Um, if you click the link right here, you'll be able to see my last video. I'll put it up there for you guys to check that out. Um, hopefully it'll be a blessing to you. Um, but, you know, I, I recognize that I do have to move on. I, I don't necessarily want to, but I have to uh, for the sakes of my daughter and for my very own sake. Um, uh, you know, I want to make it clear that uh, the reason I'm getting through is because of, of Almighty God, Yahweh Elohim, who I give all honor and all glory to and his son, Jesus Christ, uh, whose name in Hebrew is Yeshua HaMashiach and also the Holy Spirit whose name in Hebrew is the Ruach HaKodesh. So, I want to give you guys a quick story because this video won't be, won't be long at all. Um, and first off, I want to say, as a husband, as a husband, as a man, you want to leave something for your wife and children if you happen to leave this earth before um, anybody anticipates. Um... You know, in James chapter 4, Jesus Christ himself, let us know that, that life is not promised to us. Our life is nothing but a vapor. It won't last forever. That's why we all should say, if God will, if it's the will of God, I'll do this or that. And not just make your own plans and just assume that Almighty God is going to give you life. That's why I don't take anything for granted. I'm grateful for every single breath that I take, truly. And I talked to uh, my late wife, uh, Janika, and, and, and we had talks. And I told her, I said, look, you know, as a man, I want to make sure that I'll have monies invested and put to the side uh, for you guys to be taken care of, like insurance policies and everything. And I told her, if I leave this earth and you're, and you're still a young woman and, I, you know, I want you to be able to move on. I even told her, don't even spend a bunch of money burying me, have me cremated, don't even spend money on burial and a headstone and all that type of stuff. Just cremate me, 
and, and, and just take care of the girls. And I told her I want her to be remarried. I want her to move on. The man that finds her can be a much better husband than I possibly could ever be. And I told her that um, I want that for her. And I told her the only thing I want you to do is to let my daughters know that I love them. And I would give my life to make sure that her as their mother and them uh, would be taken care of. I would absolutely give my life, no doubt about it, flat out, point blank, period. And I want them, I wanted, I told her I want them to know how much I love them. And her joking said, you really would want me to move on? And I said, yes. And then she said to me, she was like, well, if I leave this earth and you're still young, you better not move on. You better not get remarried. You better mourn me and grieve all the rest of your life. But of course she was joking and she said, yes, absolutely. She agreed. She wanted the same exact thing. And, um, you know, you, you never imagine as a husband that your wife would leave here. You only think that you probably would leave. So you need to have things in order to take care of her. Um, I never imagined it would be the other way around. Um, you know, I have had my ring on. It's been, it's been a year now that my, that my late wife passed away and went on to be with the Lord. Um. And I still, you guys can see, I still got my ring on. I never take this off except for when I'm putting on lotion or something, but I never take my ring off. But I have decided uh, January 1st of 2019, I think it's time. I've thought about this and I think it's time for me to take the ring off and set it uh, with her ring. I have her, her ring and her band. And I'm gonna set them, set them with hers. And uh, yeah, I gave people advice in the last one on how to move on, and I got to take that advice myself. And I, I am, I'm gonna move on. Um, it's what she would want for me. Um, so, huh, that's it for this video. But it is, this is a big adjustment in my life, a big change to remove this ring. But I have to, you know. So. All right, guys, I love you, appreciate you. Thank you for all of the love and support. Remember, subscribe to my channel. Uh, tell somebody about it. I'm just doing what Almighty God told me to do to inspire people, to encourage people who have experienced tremendous loss. All right, guys, I truly appreciate all your support. I love you. God bless you. And I will see you in the next video.